Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2019 NFL Draft Class, specifically Washington quarterback Jake Browning. Uh, in this video, we're going to profile Jake Browning based on his high school production and FBS production data and what his potential is in the 2019 NFL Draft Class. Um, if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. With all that stuff out of the way, uh, let's get to his production profile. So first off, high school production score pretty decent, 96.21 out of 100. Um, in many ways, high school production is not about projecting a guy to the NFL based purely on his high school production. It's simply to give context to how developed a player is coming out of high school. Most of the quarterbacks that go on to become high quality NFL quarterbacks, as is shown in the data, were above average in terms of their, their um, development at the high school level. And Jake Browning definitely was pretty developed uh, coming out of high school. Uh, same thing goes when it comes to his FBS production score. His highest was 89.64 out of 100, um, which definitely hits the starting quarterback threshold and the Pro Bowl quarterback threshold. Only question marks is really career uh, career production. Uh, his highest career production score is a 71.62 out of 100, which doesn't exactly hit the all-pro career threshold of 77.32, definitely above the Pro Bowl career threshold. And when you look at the averages, he's pretty much in between a Pro Bowl to starter when it comes to the average Pro Bowl score than the average starter score at the position. A lot of people don't like Jake Browning uh, because of various different reasons, uh, but you can't deny what he's done on paper has been somewhat impressive. Um, Jake Browning is one of those prospects, I think, in this particular draft class that has a good shot to potentially become a starter or better. Um, he may only end up becoming a backup at the NFL level because he's not exactly an all-pro potential player. There's really nothing he can do this season either to really get into that above the average all-pro career score. So even if Jake Browning went out this year and had a 99-plus season, it wouldn't be enough to really bump up his averages uh, into where it needs to be. So he's pretty much locked into being a Pro Bowl such starter player, uh, potentially, uh, when it comes to his data. But not a bad profile. Definitely a guy I think you still need to have in your radar, even though a lot of people have already written him off. Um, but definitely kind of an interesting player to kind of track in the future. Uh, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jim Metrics. And if you like this content, and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace!